Hi folks, welcome to another stall13.com video. When this happens, no, I'm just joking. This is now this is a dog treat. I have never I mean this is one of the major bones in a cow. Yeah, this thing has got to be weighing around seven, eight pounds. But I want to talk about bones because you got these big bones for dogs. Then you've got some knuckles for dogs, and you've even got Tendon. some tendons off of a cow for dog treats but I've always heard that uh, like a t-bone steak pork chops uh, grandma's fried chicken that those kind of bones are bad even dangerous for a dog why is that well you're cooking them they're hard as a rock they'll you know and then and they fracture they fracture these don't fracture like cooked bones do uh, oven grilling you're 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 heating that bone up. It's getting brittle. These so are, it, these are flexible. So it isn't so much about the bone per se. It's about how the bone is processed or what happens to the bone before the dog gets a hold of it. Sure, sure. Because all these bones here are literally uncooked. I mean, they might be smoked or or cleaned up or something. Basically, all smoked. Just They're all smoked. smoked. Just put in, the, and that's just to dry out the. The so there's content. no mildew, mildew. No mil no, you have to leave them open. You can't buy right. one that's been in cellophane. It'll mildew. Right. Don't buy any cellophane raw bones because they're going to get moisture in them and mildew. So, see, a lot of us that have farm and ranch dogs, uh, you know, we have a steak with a bone, a ham bone, uh, for a lot of fried chicken on Sunday after church, um, you know, but those are bad and people don't understand yeah, because we're trying to give that but you know you you mentioned something before the vi video about a bird or a rabbit say that again well a, a, a dog eats a rabbit and eats a, eats a bird eats a, a mice right? everything cleans them up but they're not cooked they're their their bones are more flexible they're not they're not hardened from the cooking process and so that's why they pass through the dog and right. they're digestible or can get caught in the yeah so that's the, the difference throat yeah that's the problem see and, this and is given the right size bone to the right size dog don't give a uh, a great say Bernard a little a little a little chihuahua. right and if and if you have a, if you have a chihuahua or a lap dog yeah, <laughs> where the bone great. is bigger and weighs more than the no, dog no, so it is proportionate off, folks yeah. he's talking about proportion if whatever size dog make sure that you do the bone for that this has been a great video because of talking about why chicken bones steak bones pork chop bones it's not the bones it's the fact that they've been cooked boiled barbecued yeah smoked whatever that's hurt them makes them brittle Ma whatever makes the whatever makes the meat edible to a human makes the bones unedible to a dog to an animal yeah there you go folks this has been an this is a good video i like this this has been another stall13.com video we made this at red dog hound and pet supply in tulsa you can go and see them on our links page take care of yourselves your horses and your dogs